There could be several reasons why your Galaxy A25 might stop sending texts, such as issues with the messaging app, incorrect network settings, or problems with your SIM card or network provider. If you're facing this issue, here's what you can do to resolve it. Firstly, check the signal indicator at the top right corner of the screen. This will immediately tell you if the problem is related to signal reception. If you have two bars of signal or less, it's likely a reception issue. In this case, try moving to an area with better reception and attempt to send a text message. However, if your phone shows good reception but still can't send an SMS, try restarting your phone. This can potentially resolve issues with sending text messages by resetting the system and clearing any temporary software glitches. To do this, press and hold the volume down and power buttons until the power menu appears, then tap restart and confirm that you want to reboot the phone. After the reboot, try sending a text message to see if the problem is fixed. If the problem persists, try clearing the cache and data of the messaging app you're using. This can fix issues with sending text messages by removing outdated or corrupt files and freeing up storage space. To do this, tap and hold the messages icon until the menu appears, then tap the small app info icon. Scroll down a bit and tap storage. On the next screen, tap clear cache, then clear data, and tap delete to confirm. After doing this, try to send a text message. If the issue still persists, you may need to reset the mobile network settings. This fixes the problem by forcing the phone to reconnect to networks as if it's the first time, thereby clearing up any underlying problems that may be preventing optimal performance. Here's how you do it. Open settings and scroll all the way down, then tap general management. Tap reset and select reset mobile network settings. Tap reset settings and confirm it by tapping reset at the bottom of the screen. Once finished, try to see if the problem is fixed. If none of these steps work, it's time to call your carrier as it could be a problem with the network or an account related issue. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help you. Thanks for watching this video.